pain, we're not getting enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, those stories from out of Southeast Texas there with Houston, it seems like this is becoming more and more common. If you remember, it was just a few years ago, I think it was Harvey that swamped part of the city. So much right. water actually took. We had the big fundraiser to raise right. money for them then. Yeah. Sure did. It's now, now it's Harvey, now it's that tropical yeah. system as well, and it's been the entire city of Houston. But as you mentioned, around here though, Completely opposite story. We can't buy a drop of rain for <laughs> a we're change. Not complaining. Yeah, and we're not going to start complaining because we've got a lot of activities going on this weekend around the area. It's a pretty mild September night once again. Most of us still in the 70s out there as this September heat wave, or should I say, late summer heat wave rolls on or steams on, I guess. 17 days now without rain, and I think we're going to take it right up to the door of a full three weeks. With that in mind, you you know what? The drought monitor is showing that drought conditions are gradually beginning to expand across the area. Now, granted, this is nothing serious, but it is certainly an indicator of quite the transition from where we started the summer. If you remember with the wettest year on record on tap to now, we're actually seeing those abnormally dry conditions expand, especially across southeast Indiana, as well as parts of southwest Ohio, and these will probably get worse before they get better. Now, there are some rain chances in the forecast, or at least one anyway, and that's on Monday. That will come with a cold front. This won't be a drought buster, so to speak, but at least it's a little bit to drop in the bucket there. How about the weekend forecast here? We've got great weather if you are doing anything outdoors. It may be a little on the hot side, but I think most of you will take hot and dry versus wet and cold. So tomorrow night, it's the big game up there at my alma mater with the Princeton Vikings. Cold rain's coming in, and it looks like temperatures will be pretty warm out there for the kickoff in the low 80s to start and then into the mid 70s post game. Oktoberfest this weekend. It's going to be delightful out there. Uh, keep in mind, though, Saturday. Saturday and Sunday are going to be the hottest days of the week here, and it looks like temperatures will be back close to 90. And with it being downtown, it's on the pavement, you're in the open sun. Remember, you add a couple of degrees to that, so it will probably feel hotter than 90 out there. So if you're doing anything strenuous or if you're doing anything uh, celebratory wise outdoors, you'll want to make sure that you stay well hydrated. And if it's not Oktoberfest, it's the Reds at home this weekend up against the Mets. Again, a hot one on Saturday, but all weekend it's going to be warm and dry and on Saturday evening, you got FC Cincinnati. It's a busy weekend here in the Queen City. How about kickoff at 85 post game temperatures down into the mid 70s. So we want to keep the forecast dry, right? 75 right now officially at the airport. It's not a bad night, though. Humidity's tolerably low, so it feels pretty comfortable out. Your hour by hour forecast takes us from the 70s down into the 60s over the next couple of hours. We might be a degree or two warmer tonight, so temperatures in the burbs still likely to be in the upper 50s come morning, closer to 60 and then mid 60s here in the city. So pretty reflective of what we dealt with last night temperature wise. And then tomorrow's basically going to be a repeat of today with those afternoon highs in the middle to upper 80s for the daytime hours. Now, high pressure, the weather good guy still in control of our weather, and that will be the case through the weekend, hence the reason why the forecast is dry. Now, ignore the green blobs on here. There may be a few more clouds around again tomorrow, but overall, the forecast is dry until we get that cold front through here on Sunday night and Monday. That's our next opportunity for rain. So it's a comfortable night. We'll drop to about 65 for an overnight low. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy, still warm, 86 for your high. Here's a look at your day planner. Starting out in the 60s in the morning, climbing into the mid 80s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, hotter this weekend before we finally catch a break on Monday. Also, Monday, the first day of fall. So the timing's pretty good there with showers and thunderstorms. However, Mike and Sheree, I do not see fall like weather beyond on the first day of fall on Monday as we're back into the 80s next week. Well, I for one am thrilled about it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Favorite time of the year. Yeah.